Suicide is the second leading cause of death among teenagers and young adults in Colorado. And Latina teens are attempting suicide at alarmingly high rates. But a group in Denver trying to change that through art. CBS4 Health Specialist Kathy Walsh joining us from the Mental Health Center of Denver with some of those creations. Kathy? That's right, Jim. Ceramics and painting, any kind of art is encouraged. This suicide prevention program is about open communication and changing the stigma of mental illness, especially for Latinas. So, I don't know, I just love darn flowers. And so Sandra is sketching blossoms. Asharia is focused on a tiny fairy. It's art when words won't work. This is a program of the Denver Mental Health Center called Vos y Corazón, Voice and Heart. We're trying to help our young people feel like they can express both their, both what's going on with them, but also what's in their heart. According to coordinator Michelle Tijerina, the program is 13 years old, designed by teens for teens. Latina youth, specifically female, are at the highest risk for actually attempting suicide. Young Latinas wanted a support group and mentors and art to express themselves. I think it saved my sister's life. Sandra Gonzalez Tapia says four years ago, her sister was being bullied and attempted suicide. It shook her family and they turned to voice a corazon. I was able to just take it all out, my anger, my sadness, my happiness, everything, and put it on that artwork and it was amazing. <laughs> Kieran James McLaughlin struggled as a transgender kid. I have, was dealing with being suicidal since the age of 12. The artist mentor is thankful this program now helps not just Latinas, but all youth. I wish I'd had this when I was growing up, so I want to be there. With art to help hurting kids heal and adults to encourage them. The 12th annual art show and benefit for Voz y Corazon is going to be held here this Saturday from 4 to 8 p.m. It is their only fundraiser, and they'd love for you to come. Reporting live, Kathy Walsh, CBS4 News. Great cause, Kathy. Thanks very much. Time now.